The possibility of life on Mars has been a topic of interest for years now, thanks to its similarities to early Earth. To date, we have had no proof of past or present life on the Red Planet. Cumulative evidence suggests that during the ancient Noachian time period, the surface environment of Mars had liquid water and may have been habitable for microorganisms. But that doesn't necessarily mean it had any life, right? Our hunt for evidence of life began in the 19th century. It continues today. We send up rovers and explorers to study the planet. We focused on finding water, biosignatures in the soil and rocks, and biomarker gases in the atmosphere. And during our research, we managed to uncover several other things we hadn't even thought about. Today, we're going to take a look at the 10 most mind-blowing discoveries we have made on Mars. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, so you never miss a video from us. Number 1. An Ancient Steam Bed just seven weeks after the landing of NASA's Curiosity rover, mission scientists announced that it had found an ancient steam bed where water once flowed roughly knee-deep for thousands of years at a time. The discovery suggests that at least some parts of Mars may have been habitable billions of years ago, since life here on Earth thrives pretty much anywhere liquid water is found. Number 2. A Habitable Environment while there, Curiosity used its hammering drill to bore 2.5 inches, or 6.4 centimeters, into a red planet outcrop called John Klein. Note that this is the very first time any rover had ever drilled into a rock to collect samples on another world. It was also the deepest we have ever been on an alien planet, and it allowed Curiosity to study the Martian environment as it existed billions of years ago, leading to perhaps the rover's biggest scientific discovery to date, a habitable environment. Curiosity spotted some of the key chemical ingredients required to support life in the great powder it drilled out of the John Client rock. These included sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon. The fine-grained rock also contained clay minerals, suggesting an aqueous environment long ago, perhaps a lake that was neutral in pH and not too salty. Another rover called Opportunity also found evidence that Mars could have been habitable for millions of years. At the rim of the Endeavour crater, Cape York, the rover discovered ferric and aluminous smectite clays in finely layered metagevic formation rocks that precede the Endeavour impact event. These are the oldest rocks examined by Opportunity, we think roughly 4 billion years old, and they were exposed to waters much more habitable than the waters that led to the Burns Formation. Number 3. Martian Cauliflowers In 2008, NASA's Spirit rover stumbled upon an oddly shaped yet familiar object poking out of the Martian surface in the Gusev crater. Scientists called the structure cauliflower because of its resemblance to the vegetable. Images taken by the rover show a series of mineral deposits made up of opaline silica. On Earth, these silica formations are associated with microbial activity. When the rover snapped images of these structures on Mars, some suggested that these had been formed by Martian bacteria. However, it could also be shaped by non-biological processes like wind erosion, since Mars's climate is very different from Earth's. Number 4. Dangerous Radiation Levels Curiosity detected radiation levels that exceed what NASA allows for their astronauts. The Radiation Assessment Detector, or RAD, instrument on the Curiosity found that two forms of radiation pose potential health risks to astronauts in deep space. One is galactic cosmic rays, which are particles caused by supernova explosions and other high-energy events outside the solar system. The other is solar energetic particles associated with solar flares and coronal mass ejections from the Sun. With this information, we can build spacecraft and spacesuits that are able to protect our astronauts on deep space missions. Number 5. Geological Diversity it seems our planet Earth isn't the only one that's geologically eventful. Scientists were surprised by the sheer variety of soil and rock they found in the Gale Crater, where Curiosity landed. According to NASA, their rover found different types of gravel, steam bed deposits, what could possibly be volcanic rock, water-transported sand dunes, mudstones, and cracks filled with mineral veins. And all of these yield rich clues about Mars's past. Number 6. Spikes in Methane Gas Telescopic observations from Earth show us spikes in methane gas in Mars's atmosphere in the years before the Curiosity rover arrived. It seemed to come and go in large plumes. This was quite surprising because methane is thought to be destroyed quickly by other chemicals and wasn't thought to be present. Right now, Mars's atmosphere averages about one part methane per two billion parts of Mars air. And a few times over the last eight years, the rover has detected spikes of 10 to 20 times as much. Though detecting methane on Mars is exciting because it resembles something we actually have on Earth too, there could also be non-biological explanations for it to exist. We just can't seem to theorize what those reasons are yet. The presence of methane in the Red Planet's atmosphere remains a mystery. Number 7. Dust Devils 
The Opportunity rover captured an image of the landscape in 2016 showing dust devils much like what we get on Earth. The sand in the lower part of a Martian dust devil would be a hazard. The atmospheric pressure on Mars is only 1% of what it is on Earth, so astronauts wouldn't feel much wind against them, but they would still be impacted by high-speed debris. Plus, the dust and sand could be electrically charged to the point of creating electromagnetic interference in spacesuits and vehicles. Some dust devils captured from orbit span 1 to 2 kilometers across their base, and they tower 8 to 10 kilometers high. Number 8. Oxygen Fluctuation Of all things, NASA found mind-boggling fluctuations of oxygen in Mars' atmosphere that don't match up to what we have known about the planet so far. While researchers expected some change in the levels of oxygen on the planet, they are struggling to explain what they found. A whopping 30% jump in oxygen was discovered in the summer, forcing NASA to check the equipment to make sure it was working properly. They then appeared to return to normal during the autumn. It seemed like something was producing the oxygen and then taking it away. Melissa Trainer, a planetary scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said, quote, This is the first time we're seeing this interesting behavior over multiple years. We don't totally understand it. For me, this is an open call to all the smart people out there who are interested in this. See what you can come up with. Number 9. Organic matter that has survived to this day. Curiosity has found that ancient Mars had enough carbon in the rocks and soils to serve as raw material for life, if it ever existed. It found that the lake bed rocks in the Gale Crater had a diversity of organic molecules. Most of them are simple, and only a few carbon atoms in length. Yet it's possible that these carbon-based molecules on Mars may be fragments of more complex organic molecules that have degraded over billions of years. And it's surprising that these simple molecules have even survived for this long. It's possible that they were long buried and only recently appeared on the surface through natural processes of erosion. But the fact that such molecules were available makes the ancient environment even more suitable for life. Number 10. Water Saving the best for last. The reconnaissance orbiter revealed signatures of hydrated minerals on slopes where we often see mysterious streaks. These streaks seem to ebb and flow, and they darken and appear to flow down steep slopes during warmer seasons. These downhill flows, known as recurring slope lanae, are often described as possibly related to liquid water. Many dried up riverbeds, deltas, lake basins, and inland seas prove that the red planet was once blue. It may have had one or several oceans in the northern hemisphere, but all we see of them today are in the forms of briny underground lakes and locked away in polar caps. We can estimate how much water, as ice, liquid, or vapor, would have been present at various points throughout Mars's history. In its earliest years, all the water in liquid form would have covered the planet in a shallow ocean 150 to 800 feet deep. That's nothing compared to the 11,000 feet on Earth, but it's definitely more than what we expected to find. Once every 26 months, Earth and Mars align. It's perfect for traveling the shortest distance possible, reducing the commute to about six months. Our biggest space agencies are taking it upon themselves to launch probe after probe, taking advantage of the opportunity. The most recent of them happened in the summer of 2020. Three countries launched their spacecraft to Mars. The United Arab Emirates launched their Hope spacecraft, China launched their Tianwen-1, and the United States deployed its Perseverance rover at the end of July. Private spaceflight companies like SpaceX are already looking at colonizing Mars and making humans a multi-planetary species. Given the overwhelming amount of evidence we have had that life on Mars could one day be possible, the day isn't far away when we start listing our planet of birth on our passports. Enjoy the video? Then be sure to hit the like button and check out more videos on tech and our future on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.